We knew from day one that we had to make a new destination out of this large site, the site of St Christopher House, as it was, um, and we had to make a new address. We had to make somewhere where, where people would want to come and work, and they'd be happy working here, and people living around, people working around, the local community would happily start using this site uh, in a way they hadn't used it before. And of course, the fact that it coincides with uh, Tate, the Millennium Bridge, it seems like the centre or the centrepiece or keystone of um, the north part of Southwark, that is Bankside. It's creating uh, new routes and also new eddy spaces, dwell spaces, quiet spaces to hang out um, and occupy public open space. The most important new route that we've created, um, which when you remember the old building, which was a 200 metre long linear block cutting right across here, uh, most importantly, we have created a new street. It's the continuation of a street that used to exist um, in, in Victorian times. But it will also be full of restaurants and cafes. And it'll be a place uh, to, to walk through, but also a place to hang out, particularly sunny at lunchtime, actually. Buildings, particularly in their upper parts, they actually make public space into what I sometimes call outdoor rooms. And in the particular with Canby Street, if you look closely at the geometry of how we formed building one on one side, building two on the other side, and use the existing building, uh, the LSE building here, to form this kind of lozenge-shaped plaza, if you like, which is um, very much a dynamic space. It's a new route, it's for moving, but it's also somewhere to dwell.